mini hoops are back. So this is my new basketball room. This room features triple compression springs. So it gets a nice breakaway. A little flimsy because the springs are a little weak. That's why it's like hanging low like that. It's supposed to be like that. And not like that. You never make it it's really flimsy. It's because of the springs. Pretty sure I'm using two two inch and two inch of compression springs. Make sure to get the ones that are not too flimsy and not too strong. Like right in between. It's supposed to be perfect for the basketball rims. Get one. Get springs that are sort of like these ones, but put them in like the lifetime hoops because their springs go out like that, but they only have double compression springs and not that third one. So make sure to put it in like that for extra stability. And if you don't like too hard, they can come off or bend like this. This is my first version of that hoop. It was sucky. This is what happened to the compression springs. So don't don't get ones that are flimsy like these ones. Especially if you like don't think on your hoop. Yeah, I do. So I love doing too. Okay, I don't know this is a really good group. It's about a 13 inch backboard. 13 by 14 inch backboard. Add cardboard. So I don't have a single thing other than cardboard, which is sucky. I think it's like a thing. Like, really sucky. But yeah, I just finished a net for it too. Yeah, Flim really flimsy. Definitely needs stronger springs. And this one actually has the wraparound steel braces on the sides like a real rim does it looks like a real rim I haven't included that bit don't know why but it just looks cooler like that but yeah that was my new basketball hoop with compression springs and no mousetraps. Mousetraps are bullcrap. See?